So I think it was uh, it was a very interesting session. Uh, people from different countries and from different, uh, let's say, diverse diverse backgrounds. Uh, they're very uh, intelligent. They're hungry for knowledge. But I guess what they really need is to have a very high self of self awareness to know exactly where they stand in terms of their capabilities and their potential. And to do the same for their teams, they need to have very specific goals. We had some interactions. It was very interesting because they have big dreams, but uh, they're so let's say so. Unspecific. Uh, They're not specified. They don't know exactly how they will do them. And I think that's a very important step. You must have very clear objectives and very clear uh, timelines and uh, KPIs, key performance indicators for everything they do. What I loved about everybody there is that they're really interested in the human factor. They're so passionate about what they do. They love their jobs. The next step is how can they make this a real professional and very successful business model. I had a speech this morning and I had a workshop on uh, human resources. Um, I think it's very important and I was very happy for that. Uh, the program for this uh, leadership summer school is really uh, very impressive. Um, of course, they are not going to be uh, HR director, but as manager, they will be responsible for the team. They will have to build a team. So uh, we had a very practical workshop on recruitment, all the steps in the process so that uh, the students can uh, really get uh, tools they will use. Of course, HR is very dependent and connected to the cultural environment and it's very different from one country to another country and most of the time it's also different uh, in the same country from one company to another institution. But um, this morning we really had a very practical workshop. LM school per presentare un laboratorio di tinkering. Tinkering significa aggiustare in maniera magari raffazzonata, utilizzare materiali in maniera alternativa rispetto a quello che vengono utilizzati eh, solitamente. Eh, questo è un metodo di approccio in cui si impara facendo il learning by doing. Partecipanti dopo il laboratorio sono stati entusiasti. L'idea di da una parte tornare bambini per lavorare con oggetti manuali, quindi tenere in mano gli oggetti e il risolvere problemi che delle volte sono posti effettivamente da quello che stanno facendo, delle altre volte sono autoimposti, quindi la sensibilità delle persone per riuscire a capire se quello che stanno facendo gli piace o meno e quindi vanno a cambiare forzandosi di imparare qualcosa per un desiderio personale è qualcosa che funziona bene, funziona bene questo modo di imparare differente, questo è il tinkering che abbiamo presentato. Qui.